Oh yeah, deadly aquarium fish. I thought this was interesting. So if I think of fish that are deadly in the aquarium, um, I mean lionfish, I guess could theoretically do some damage, but like, what else do people keep in the aquarium that is possibly deadly? So I'm number excited. fifteen, buck-toothed tetra, native what? to the Amazon basin and Guyana. It is light tan in appearance with two distinct black. How did we start with buck-toothed tetra? Really, a tetra is a deadly aquarium fish? The bucked tooth tetra is unsuitable for aquariums be There's no buck tooth tetra because in it this is image. very aggressive and will attack any and every- <laughs> Bro, it's literally this big! It's literally this big. Every fish in the tank. They are also infamous for their scale-eating habits. He's saying this like it's a fucking serial killer. Smash. It's just an aggressive fucking tetra. Their sp Number 14, red-tailed black shark. This is a species of- Isn't this a fucking catfish? The freshwater fish in the carp family. Or, it yes, is endemic to Thailand and critically in How? danger. How? Okay, he's just listing aggressive aquarium fish. Why would you title it avoid these deadly aquarium fish if you're just going to list mildly aggressive aquarium fish that are like the size of my thumb? In spite of their name, they aren't true sharks. However, being oh, solitary, territorial, number are 13, they? black piranha, also known there as- There it is. I was waiting for the one that would actually like have some sort of aggressiveness to it, considering we got a fucking tetra and a cyprinid. They also commonly attain a maximum weight of about 6.6 pounds. Deadly. It is one of the larger the species of- There's a bar at the top. A piranha. Whatever the body color, this species always has red eyes. Or is this recorded in like a shitty free video editor and he had to do each part separately? Why is there a bar at the top? That's They're like especially dangerous, <laughs> not just to fish, but to their human handlers as well. Number 12, Ornate Bashir. The- What? What? It's a fucking noodle. It's a fucking noodle with lips. How is a Bashir even mildly dangerous? Nothing in the Polyteris family is even mildly dangerous or deadly. The ornate Bashir is very aggressive, unlike other fish in its family. It may tolerate larger fish, but tends to attack small bottom dwelling or... How are these dead? I think he's just, there's a, a, once again, there's a disconnect between title and content. He's talking about mildly aggressive aquarium fish while calling them deadly. Similar looking species. They tend to deadly to small fish, to like fish that are way smaller than them. Go after fish Is that tails what a lot. Means? And so if a fish has a damaged tail, the Bashir is the most likely culprit. Number 11, Severum. Most deadly, damaged tail. Heroes. Severums? Why, why, why? Why? Red Severum's one of the parents of parrot cichlids. You know how dumb parrot cichlids look? Paris is a species of tropical freshwater cichlid native to the Upper Orinoco and Upper Rio Negro basins in South America. He it tried is so hard, Rio Negro. However, they are really aggressive and will kill anything. Who is this clip art scientist gif that keeps playing on the side? Hey, look at that fish. And they can. They tend to do well with- And then he just disappears out of existence. However, they're not as merciful to other tank mates. Oh, I know he's trying to say avoid having these in aquarium because they're aggressive and can kill other fish in your aquarium. But avoid in all caps, deadly aquarium fish is very funny. Number 10, Arowana. This family- Who has- Okay. Bodies. No one has an Arowana. Also known as bony tongues, they have a tooth. Arowana are monster fish. Very few people have them. And if you're getting an arowana, you're well aware of what you're getting yourself into. Highly active top dwelling predator. Yeah. Rip the blood parrot cichlids. Number nine, Jack Dempsey. This freshwater fish is named after the famous 1920s boxer, Jack Dempsey. The name arises due to the fish's the strong facial features and aggressive nature, just like the boxer. Where's it the is scientist? a freshwater fish native to Mexico and Honduras. They yeah. can grow up to 10 scientist? inches in length and yeah. tend to eat worms, crustaceans, insects, and other fish. <laughs> and he disappears. Such a great guy. It is a widely popular aquarium fish due to its iridescent to scales. Oh, to keep them in twice? check, they can only share a tank the scientists with came up twice in the same thing? large, similarly aggressive cichlids. They also need caves to keep them calm. Number eight, pea buffer. The pea buffer fish is also keep them calm. Number eight, pea buffer. Buffer? 
It's a pea puffer, and it is the size of a pin. You're kidding me. Do you understand how large a pea puffer is? How do I, yeah, 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 that's so scary. Oh my god, I'm absolutely terrified. Why are you, uh, what? The pea buffer fish. It's not a pea buffer, it's a pea puffer. The maximum size of this fish ever noted is 1.4 inches. <laughs> he even showed it. The maximum size ever is 1.4 inches. Uh, In spite of their small size. Hey, the scientist. Size, they can take out much larger fish. These fish are very territorial, and if they can't kill they another- they can take out much larger fish? No, they can't. The puffers can't take out anything. Their fish outright? They will take out chunks of it until it dies a slow, painful death. What? Who? Number Who seven. Who's giving you this information? Pea puffers? What? Tiger barb, two 3.9 inches long and 1.6 inches wide. All <laughs> species of this fish hey, are hey, quite colorful, Mama which Mia. is why they are coveted for aquariums. I love the science. They are guy. very on, aggressive the thing, the and thing. tend to nibble science on the fins guy. of other smaller or more passive species. <laughs> However, Whoa, their aggression tends to the fall when they twice. are out. He didn't do the thing where the scientist raises his hand. He has two different scientists with gifts. members of the it. same species. Number six, gurami. These are a group of freshwater any gurami, and anabantiform fishes that are native to India, Pakistan, and Korea. They tend to have elongated feeler-like <laughs> ray at the front of each of their pelvic fins. With one yeah, hundred, they're so dangerous and aggressive. You guys ever seen kissing gurami's? And the world seems to shine like you have too much wine. <laughs> the music. <sighs> this is the opposite scenario for most other hey, fishes. Mama they are personable Mia. and intelligent. Number five, flower horn cichlid. This fish's okay. most distinguishing feature, other than its vivid. Poggers. Hmm. I wonder what the most distinguishing feature about this fish is. Coloration is its bulging forehead, yeah. which is colloquially called a cock. They are a man made. Oh. Yeah. It's called a what? Bulging forehead, which is colloquially called a cock. I'm sorry? Coloration is its bulging forehead, which is colloquially called a cock. I'm sorry? Coloration is its bulging forehead, which is colloquially called a cock. No, it's not. It is not a cock head. Cock head. No, no. Flower, horn, cichlid, head. Okay. It's a cock. <laughs> yeah, I would have said nuchal hump. Who the fuck came up with cock? I, <laughs> I can't Google cock head. <laughs> they have a lifespan between 10 to 12 years and can grow. <laughs> Yeah, you suck that rock, Cock. Grow up to 14 inches long. Being aggressive and territorial, two or more hey, flower horns are guy. usually not kept together. Number four, poor man's trophaeus. A species of fish in the what? cichlid family that oster? can grow up to five inches long. They are so aggressive that they are sometimes used for the cleaning of other fish parasites. They tend to kill fish larger than... They're so aggressive that they're used for the cleaning of other fish parasites. What? Lump suckers are used to clean fish parasites. Cleaner wrasse are used to clean fish parasites. What does that have to do with being aggressive? And themselves. Their aggressiveness is less. Okay, this is a freshwater Number three, a fair knife. Also known as the reticulated knife fish, okay. it is a species of freshwater fish found in tropical West Africa. At full size, they either need to be kept alone or with other large and aggressive fish. They tend to dislike specific individuals rather than specific groups. Number two. Ah, so they're not racist, they just hate people. Mini Dovi. The oh, Mini Dovi, they are native to Central America Never in the waterways from Mexico to Guatemala. That's the second most deadly aquarium fish. They can live as long as 10 years. They are kept in no, a- No, it shouldn't be titled dangerous aquarium fish. It should be titled aggressive aquarium fish or avoid having these aquarium fish why deadly they tend to prefer waters in the neutral to slightly alkaline ph ranges they prefer the <laughs> if that scientist gif that cartoon of the scientist on the side was not playing this video would be way less informative bottom levels of the tank these fishes are best kept in pairs otherwise they kill why is it showing a freshwater cichlid side by side with a fucking shark in an ocean aquarium what, how, what, are, what is the relation? 
Number one. The number one most deadly fish kept in the aquarium. Oscar fish. Yeah. Okay. Known also as the tiger Oscar, the fish, velvet cichlid, Oscars. and marble cichlid, even so, they tend to bond with their human owners and interact with them a lot. Ow, it is so recommended deadly. that they be housed alone if possible. Would you rather spend $100,000 on a fish for your aquarium or the same amount on a big shopping spree? Obviously a shopping spree. Who would pick a $100,000 arowana over literally buying whatever? I could buy a fucking house. Why would I buy an arowana? What a terrible question. Whoa.